Metamorphosis, the process of transformation from an immature form to an adult form in two or more distinct stages. The materials I will be using for this spell is a black candle, snake sheddings, some rosemary, dried rosemary, and some selenite oil. I will also be using Florida water to cleanse the candle and to also cleanse myself and my hands while doing the spell. So you are going to also need a heating tool. This is a heating embossing tool that I will be using. I'm also going to be burning some charcoal so that I can get my intention flowing. And here I'm just lighting some self-igniting charcoal. I'm going to go ahead and put that in my cauldron and I will prepare my loose herb so that I can go ahead and burn it. I am going to be using the rosemary to create a nice smudge. I am putting intention right here of protection, of removing, banishing negative energies, whether it be from within or from outside sources. And then I'm going to burn some akote wood. Akote is really good when you are wanting to channel spirit, when you are calling upon certain energies, certain deities, and things like that. Akote works really good. It would be another great substitute for if you don't have sweet grass on hand. Then I'm going to go ahead and cleanse myself with the Florida water. As you can see, I cleanse my hands, cleansing the candle making sure that all of the energy that is going to be put into the spell is the energy only of my own. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull out the snake skin shedding. This is cruelty free snake skin shedding. I'm going to slice it into strips here so that it's easier to apply to my candle because you are going to want to work in small sections at a time. And then I'm cutting it so that it's an open flap and you have a long sheet to work with. And this is pretty much how I'm going to wrap it around, just like that. This is where the heat gun comes in handy because I'm actually going to use the heat gun to melt the wax and get the wax a little bit more tacky so that the snake skin shedding will stick to the wax. And then I'm just going to work that around, putting some pressure on it as I'm wrapping it. And you can go little by little. This is not a race. You can take your time with this. And just do small section by small section, making sure to warm up the wax, wrapping it around, and then putting some pressure, applying pressure so that it sticks onto there and it adheres to the melted wax. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add that other strip, work the way around. Oh, flew off. <laughs> there we go. And just little sections by little sections you can take your time while you're doing this you will be putting your intention of metamorphosis recreating yourself changing things moving on this is a great spell to do around your birthday around new year around times that you're starting on a new path and you're wanting to grow and becoming that person that you know is worthy of having success and whatever matters whether it be in relationships, in business, in career, whatever it is, you can use the spell. This is just to give you an idea on how to attach snakeskin to a candle to make a metamorphosis candle. After I go ahead and wrap the snake shedding around the candle, um, this is going to be the perfect time for me to go ahead and use the oil. I'm going to use the selenite oil. I'm going to go ahead and dress that candle and just get the oil all over the snakeskin shedding. This is a bow python snakeskin shedding, by the way, if you're wondering. I'm just going to go ahead and put that oil all over there. Put it a little bit on myself. <laughs> Forgot something. All right, I'm back. <laughs> so 
So now I'm going to go ahead and grind up my herb. This is more of that rosemary mix. I believe I had put some other herbs too. Um, just different intentions that I wanted to put into that. So this candle isn't really to bring in things. It's kind of more of a candle to use to remove certain things about yourself usually those things that we don't like about ourselves whether we are um, critical of ourselves we are having struggles with self-love or just growing in the way that we want to um, then I'm going to go ahead and use the selenite bowl I use selenite bowls for a lot of things especially when it comes to charging uh, incense or charging herbs or charging candles which is what I'm gonna do here so I'm just kinda rolling it up in the aluminum foil I'm gonna go ahead and put it with my chakra wand because I'm wanting to incorporate all of the energies of the crystals in the chakra wand and of course I'm wanting to grow in whatever way is possible so incorporating that chakra wand I'm incorporating all those stones and all the ways that it is that I'm wanting to strengthen myself then I'm going to go ahead and look through these cards. I want to work with abandonment of old things that no longer serve the person who I will be becoming within my coming year. And I'm going to use that Libra candle. I had actually did this spell September of 2017. So September is my birthday, so that's why I chose to go with the Libra candle. And you can incorporate that metamorphosis candle into whatever spell it is that you would like. In this one, I am using it because I am wanting to create newness for my new year. And there was a lot of things that I was wanting to change about myself and to strengthen and to grow from. So that's how come I used it with my birthday spell so what you see laid out in front of me right here these are all of my birthday candles um, that I'm gonna be melting onto this bigger candle to finish off my wishes for my birthday so when you when you get like a birthday cake you get a birthday cake with a bunch of candles on it and everybody's saying happy birthday and you know you blow the candles out and make your wish and you don't um, not a lot of people think about this, but you didn't allow those candles to fully melt down. So that's how come I incorporate my birthday candles into a spell that I am putting intentions forth for my new year that is coming and the things that I'm wanting to bring in. Then I'm going to go ahead and use the Florida water once again. You guys, this stuff is amazing for cleansing your candles, cleansing your magical tools, cleansing yourself, cleansing your home. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my birthday candles. I had some really cute zebra and tiger striped ones. And both of these candles I were candles that I had gotten for my birthday spell that I had did. That Libra one was one that I had actually bought myself. The small white one that I'm using to bring in more blessings and positive energy and um that candle I had gotten from my mother-in-law so that was a birthday gift from her and I'm just melting the bottoms of the birthday candles attaching them to the larger candle I'm just kind of sticking them on there so I'm going to put as many as I can fit on that Libra candle. The rest, I'm going to go ahead and put them onto this small white candle. And everything is going to get burned together. The Metamorphosis candle will be burned along with these two candles that I'm going to be burning as well. These ones are to bring in, whereas the Metamorphosis candle is to release what no longer serves and to move past and move forward and move on to bigger and better things. So here we go, this is my selenite bowl again. I had used it to go ahead and charge my candle to amplify everything. I'm going to use that abandonment card. I'm going to also use that um, chakra wand in the spell 
as well. I'd use it all to charge everything, but I'm going to also incorporate the energies into my spell. Look how beautiful my candle is. It's the metamorphosis candle. It's amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and put it into a burner where I know it's going to be safe. And you guys always want to practice safe magic because you never want to allow some spell work to, you know, cause havoc on something. You could accidentally burn your house down. It's better to be safe than sorry. I'm going to go ahead and melt the bottom of that candle, place it inside the holder. And I am going to incorporate a macaw feather because air is the element of my zodiac. So I'm going to incorporate that energy along with it. Go ahead and I'm going to write my intentions onto my jar candle. Everything that I'm wanting to bring in for my coming year. All the things that I'm wanting to manifest and all of my dreams that I am wanting to come true. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. And thank you guys for watching. Blessed be.